Ugh, what a morning. But you know what? I decided I might as well vlog about it since it was very interesting and it seemed like no matter what I did, this was probably going to get hit in one way or another. Thank you for tuning in to another JD Channel IGTV Journal. So today, I happen to actually get involved in a minor fender bender as it specifically is because the fender is pretty much bent. And so is the headlight and part of the bumper. So let me give you a little background of what happened today. So today I began my morning loading the Civic SI tire into the back of this 530 and I have this interesting problem that occurs every now and then with the 530. Sometimes when you just start using it, when, the, when you're turning, the revs drop so low that the car stalls. And this is only probably when you start it up and say you haven't driven it yet, you decide to you know, make a sudden turn. I guess there's a vacuum or something, which I haven't figured out, I'm gonna work on that. That just, the RPMs drop hella low and just all the lights come out. Now, I happen to be backing up and I live on a main street. There was nobody in the path of traffic, but there was a big risk there because when I finally got to start, I noticed there were a couple of cars behind me. So I go to the tire shop where I just had my other tire fixed because I broke the valve stem on that. And when I put on the new tire, or sorry, mounted the other tire, I checked the tire pressure on the left rear tire and it just gives way. The valve stem just cracked the shit because it was so old. So I go to the tire shop and I explain, you know, I was here Saturday, you know, Tim helped me out with shout out to, you know, Mission Tires once again, because, you know, they helped me out. They got me back on the road. So there was one guy there and I felt bad because he's by himself, but thankfully there was nobody there, like in line in front of me. It seems like he had a couple of jobs to do, but they were just, you know, unmounted tires. So I explained to him what happens. He hooks me up. He pretty much helps me fix the valve stem in a few minutes and he felt so bad about what happened he did me a courtesy and I'm so I decide okay I got a few hours before work since this took a lot less time than I thought because when you're at the tire shop you could be there for hours even for a simple thing but thankfully I was out of there within probably 10 minutes so I head to Costco gas I'm in line for one of the pumps, which, unlike other people, I go to the line where the pump actually is meant for my side of where the gas pump is. Other people, you know, they'll stretch the pump, whatever, to try and get it in. So I'm just sitting there, line's not moving, and I see in front there's a sign that says, you know, the front gas pump is temporarily out. So I think, okay, you know, I'm too lazy, I'm not going to move. And a second later, I see the dude in front of me step on his brakes, and I'm thinking, okay. And then I see the reverse lights turn on, and I'm thinking, okay, he'll see me. And I see him move a little bit, and I start honking, because he's a decent amount of distance from me. And behind me, there's already a car coming. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, you should look back, and hopefully you see me. And, and lo and behold, the last second, he gives it even more gas and just strikes the car. And this is a fairly new Lexus. This looked like probably 210 and up. So I figured he should have backup sensors or something to tell him. But he just proceeded to go. So he gets out. I get out. And, you know, we talk a little bit. And the first thing he asks me is, so I was backing up. Whose fault is it? So I explained it. He's like, oh, okay, okay. And I'm thinking, all right. So I get his insurance. 
and you know we take a few photos we take a picture of each other's insurance and I think all right so we're still in line for gas so obviously we stay in the same line and then I'm looking in the back of my insurance card because obviously I was so flustered I forgot to get a driver's license and I'm thankful I did because one in the beginning I didn't notice that the insurance card was expired so I confirmed with him and then I went back in the car but later on I was like you know what I'm gonna get the license and when I look at his driver's license itself it didn't match the person or address on the coverage but he says he's covered so I'm like all right whatever I have that evidence I took a photo obviously of his the license plate and all the other things before you know we moved and I left it be as it was at the accident part so when we move forward, all I needed was that information. So I finally talk, get gas, you know, whatever. He just confirms with me, you know, I get his number, everything. And I decide, Oops, don't leave the accident scene until you get photos of what happened. You document exactly what happened in terms of the insurance, everything. If you can get a police report, but this is so minor, I was thinking, you know, I shouldn't have to. Then, you know, get all the pictures you can. If you can, any corroborating video, which I mean, I had the dash cam. When I came up to the gas pump, thankfully the guy at Costco said, you know, if you do need it, you can contact them. They'll give you the video from it to help you out. And I'm like, thanks, dude. Yeah. And I'm glad Costco's that friendly. That's why I love going to Costco and I love being a member. But when I call, and so I called the insurance company and told them so they're aware, they're gonna contact them and figure this out. And I'm hoping he has some sort of insurance to cover this and doesn't try to twist it, otherwise, I'd have to go small claims court. But I'm hoping he doesn't try to do a dick move. And the other thing is, I would say, why were you driving if this wasn't your car and you didn't have? you know, level insurance. Cause I mean, at that point that can become a lawsuit on its own. So, you know, wish me luck on that. I'm sorry that, you know, this is a very interesting kind of vlog and it just happened to happen today and there are more car issues, but thankfully nobody was, seems to be critically hurt in this and who knows, but I thank you for tuning in once again to a JD Channel Journal. I do hope that you follow my Instagram to see updates on this, as well as my YouTube channel, which is also in the link as well. Yeah, you know, just when you get in an accident, always take care of business. Some of the insurance cards, thankfully, in the back do have instructions of what you should have. And I should have looked at that. I got what I thought I needed, but at least I got a little more to help me out. sticks out now. The light's cracked. It was hazing anyway, so. Well, on the bright side, a new headlights and bumper. At least it's not hazing anymore.